As the oil era comes to a close, there's actually quite a lot of oil wells, which are a bit of an environmental catastrophe in a lot of ways. Oil is dying and it's being replaced by renewable energy and batteries. So how do we fix this problem of these oil wells? Just let people fall into them or turn them into big batteries? Well, that is what is about to happen. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. The world has an incredible amount of solar and wind, and those two technologies have continued to come down in price. This year, solar sales have increased by nearly 100% versus the same quarter last year. If you actually have a look at the revenues of the world's biggest solar companies over the first three months of this year, they've all increased their revenues enormously. And at the same time, they've reduced the prices of their panels by an average of 32%. So what that means is we need batteries to store this energy we get from the sun when the sun isn't shining or when the wind isn't blowing to store the energy from the incredible wind turbine farms being installed all over the world. We're currently adopting very low cost carbon energy sources at an insane pace. Over the next few decades, the world will transition from fossil fuels to almost completely renewable energy. And that renewable energy will become our primary source of electricity. But the world needs batteries. We can't do this without big battery packs. And that means that grid level energy storage becomes of paramount importance. In order for an energy grid to use 100% renewable power, which is actually possible, has been proven this can work in a large scale setting, such as a huge city with millions of people, because it's working right now here in Australia, in the Australian city of Adelaide. But with order for this to work without experiencing blackouts, we need mega sized batteries that can store enormous amounts of energy. These mega batteries though are very expensive and they have a significant environmental impact due to the mining and the chemical leaching, which can possibly happen. That said, these batteries are significantly improving. Energy densities are increasing, prices are coming down, but we still need solutions to this challenge. Unfortunately, there's some brilliant researchers from the University of Illinois who have come up with a solution, turning old abandoned oil wells into massive geothermal batteries. It's brilliant. A thermal battery is a lot like your thermos flask. It heats up a material wrapped in a highly insulating outer shell, and then it stores that heat as energy. When you need the electricity from this mega heated battery, it then converts this thermal energy back into electricity to discharge. Now, there are already many thermal batteries being used in the, around the world. So this technology does work. Abandoned oil wells have a similar setup. These massive underground cavities don't have any geothermal heating capacities as they are. They don't just come as big hot batteries, but you can turn one into this. And the reason is because they contain sponge-like rocks and minerals with excellent thermal conductivity. In addition, the rock layers surrounding this porous rock are extremely insulating, keeping any heat trapped. The crazy thing about all of this is, is that they're basically the world's biggest natural batteries. Geology has already built the thermal battery for us. All we need to do is take advantage of this opportunity. And the incredible thing is that the rest of the infrastructure that we need to turn an abandoned oil well into a fully functional geothermal battery, well, it already exists. A vast network of underground pipes and pumps has already been put in place to build the oil well in the first place. In other words, the oil industry put them there and then just left them there and took off, leaving what seems like an unsightly hole in the ground it is only useful for falling into and dying into something that's actually incredibly practical. What this means is very little modification is actually needed to turn these oil wells that have been abandoned into massive geothermal batteries. The way this would work is that heat from nearby industries or surplus renewable energy 
would heat water to around 50 degrees Celsius, that's 122 degrees Fahrenheit. This water is then pumped into the cavity in the well. Down there, it will heat the surrounding rock, charging the battery. When the power is needed, it will pump the water out, which will still be close to its original temperature of 50 degrees or 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Then using thermocouples, the thermal energy in the water will be extracted as electricity and the now cold water will be reheated and returned to the battery. Obviously the sun would reheat the, the water using solar panels or the wind using wind turbines. Now this concept has been around for some time. You've probably heard about it before, but it hasn't been until now that researchers from the University of Illinois actually looked into this as a practical real world solution. They built a geothermal battery using an abandoned oil well and then analyzed the results to see if this would actually work and whether or not the technology was financially viable. What, what they found was actually it is. In their tests, they injected water preheated to 50 degrees Celsius or 122 degrees Fahrenheit, 3000 feet down into an old oil well. They pumped the water back up and extracted the energy from it. Ultimately, this mega geothermal battery had an overall efficiency of an incredible 82%. That means if you put one kilowatt hour of energy into the battery, you can get 0.82 kilowatt hours back out. That level of efficiency is way higher than what anyone expected. And this actually puts it on par with lithium iron phosphate batteries, which are the main type of battery storage that we're using today. However, this battery is much, much cheaper than a comparably sized lithium battery. So how cheap is it? Well, the study found that this system was definitely economically viable. It can produce an average overall net cost of electricity generation of 13 cents per kilowatt hour. Now, usually you would calculate the cost per kilowatt hour of battery capacity, not the cost per kilowatt hour it produces. But the reason the researchers came up with that figure is because they're looking at charging the battery with free waste heat energy from local industries. And the reality is here, there is a lot of free waste heat that can be harvested from local industries where hot water is already being created. That waste could actually be pumped into these wells, meaning you could charge these batteries for free in the right locations. All that has to be done now is to identify the right locations and start turning these massive abandoned oil wells into massive productive batteries. Now, of course, this concept won't work everywhere. It'll only work in some locations, but the incredible thing is it will work. I love this idea. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.